So you want to wait till you're right before the spike because you can die. If you die there, I'm sure you won't be happy. Oh, I thought I died there. How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video, we're going to be doing a level called Omega by Darwin. You guys know Darwin. Darwin is a fantastic creator and this level is no exception. Um, Omega has really fun gameplay. It has some really cool visuals, but the gameplay is just really fun and consistent. Like, you play through it and you go, oh hey, there's like kind of a reoccurring theme with like these ball segments that pop in, where when you change into the ball, you gotta press the button right away. And the gameplay just feels good feels really good to play. It's really tight. Feels like when you hit those timings, you're like, yeah, that timing was totally meant to be, right? It's awesome. And when you get a level like that, it's just such a pleasure to learn. It's such a pleasure to play. My God, Darwin is a fantastic creator. I love it. I love it. Omega Mystic Spell. There's a bunch of other Darwin levels I haven't played recently as well. Darwin is on fire recently. This is no exception. I don't have a shout out for this. I'm really sorry, I didn't plan one. For some of you that don't know, I was actually on a juice fast. I was only drinking juice for five days and because of that, my energy levels were pretty low and that's why I haven't really done anything super difficult, right? I had, didn't practice Ice Carbon Diablo X anymore um, because I was going through that juice cleanse and I had no energy. I just broke the cleanse because uh, my time was up. I was supposed to do it for five days. I've done it. And so this week I'll be focusing on like some harder stuff like ICDX, mostly just ICDX <laughs> and some other videos. I'll do some challenge videos and stuff like that. So I apologize. A lot of you guys were wondering where those videos were and I'm sorry. But anyways, let's continue on with like something a little easier. I'd probably consider this like an easy medium demon. I don't even know if it's like quite a medium, but let's just uh, go through in practice mode so I can show you guys what's what. The beginning's pretty simple. Now, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of these jump ring timings, you should hit right away, immediately. If you don't hit them immediately, it can muck things up. Um, right here, that uh, pink jump ring, you gotta hit a little late. And see, what I mean by like hitting the ball timings right away is when you turn into like the mini ball here, you go like boom and you hit the button like right away. And same with there, you hit the button right away. So it's this really tight timing timing um, that feels really good in your hands and uh, so you got to go up and down there like as you go through those breakable blocks right there you kind of go down and then up and then hit that uh, jump ring but don't hit the jump ring right away though this one actually you don't hit right away you wait like a tiny fraction of a second um, because if you hit it right away you will you can do that see if you hit it right away so you just wait like a fraction of a second but still the timing feels nice and tight and then you just go through this ball section, which like isn't that bad. Okay, so as you go through here and the screen flashes white, you gotta be wary because there are two jump rings you have to hit. And uh, the spider section's really easy. <laughs> really easy, and the UFO section is too. But the UFO section, when you do hit that green jump ring, you do have to wait a tiny little bit. Now this button right here, when you go into the UFO, you wanna hit immediately. If you don't hit it immediately, you wait a little bit, that's gonna happen. So you gotta basically like buffer your input like as you're going through the air, press it before you go into the portal. So boom, and then one, two, one, two, and hit that green jump ring a little late. Otherwise you can die by not making it far enough. And then you'd like hit the button four times in succession and get ready for this tight section, which no tips for the rocket, just, just learn it. <laughs> And now here it's pretty easy, hit that black jump ring a little late, you can hit it too early and you'll die, watch, like that. So you wait a little bit to hit it, boom. And now this uh, jump ring, you wanna make sure you don't hold down the button when you go through there, hold it down a little bit. But if you just hold it down and like fly straight down, you can actually go too far down and die, like that. So what you wanna do is hit it, hold, but then like let go right at the last second. Another tight ball part, the only recommendation I can do here because the timings aren't that hard is when you're going through here, wait a little bit to go up um, because you can go up too early. If you go up too early like that, you'll die. You don't have enough time to react, so wait a little bit. Other than that, it's just two easy jumps. Do a little mini jump from the robot to get into the wave. The wave isn't that hard and then we go into a robot. Now, there is only one coin in this level and it's pretty easy to get. So basically, instead of taking those dash orbs, what you wanna do is do little mini jumps. Just little mini jumps, jump at the last second and then some more mini jumps. So, let's do that again. Big jump, mini, mini. <laughs> and then wait till you're at the end of this platform. If you jump too early, you can die. Like you've jumped too early here because you'll fall like that. So you wait till you're at the very end, jump a little bit and then do two mini jumps. 
Jump a little bit, hit that jump ring. Too many jumps. Really not that hard. And then this part's pretty easy. Just gotta hit these jump rings. The only thing I can tell you here is when you get to these blue ones, after you hit the second one, hold down the button so you do a big jump and then hit the other ones like as soon as you get to them. Not a big deal. This timing might be a little hard for some people because you gotta wait till the last second to jump there. Um, that's, that's really not that bad though. And this part right here can kill you, okay? I did it right here, but if you hit the button right away, you can die if you jump too early. So what you can do here is you can jump too early like that and you'll die. So you want to wait till you're right before the spike and then hit the jump rings like as soon as you can. Because you can die if you like go too early, right? And it'll piss you off because it's right at the end of the level. If you die there, I'm sure you won't be happy and I'm sure I'm probably going to die there once. But that's okay because I suck at memorization and uh, it takes me a while to practice levels. You know, like eventually I can be good at levels. If I put enough practice into them, I mean, that's like kind of obvious, but like I s it takes me a lot longer than most people. Okay, so you can hit that jump ring a little bit early. We got this. But yeah, it takes me a little longer than most people, even though like I feel like I've improved at the game recently. Still takes me a while. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta hit those right away! Oh my god, I thought I hit that too early. <laughs> hey, we're making some pretty slick progress, huh? See, I, I like it. The difficulty of this level is just so consistent. Oh my god! It's so consistent. Like, there's not one part that's so much harder than the others. Um, it's just like this nice, consistent flow. And uh, I never really feel like I get out of control in this. Well, I mean, I obviously died a little bit there, but I always feel like it's it's not like ever hopeless. I feel like there's always a chance for me to recorrect like a mistake that I make, right? It feels like it's just very fair gameplay. I've died there twice though. <laughs> um, very fair gameplay, except for that part. Wait. Boom, and we're making progress. This part's pretty easy, nice little break. Whoa! Hold down the button a little bit. Oh, we're going all the way, baby. Oh, I thought I jumped. Oh, I, just, I don't know what happened there, though. Like, I thought I jumped too early. Maybe I jumped too early on the second jump when I went to the ball section. I've never actually died transitioning into the ball there. Have no idea what happened wrong. But either way, I mean, that's like, that's some pretty slick progress, right? The cool thing about this level is like, sure, there are a couple tricky timings. You got to know your way around the ball. Um, but once you get it, you, you got it. It just... Hmm. Feels good to play. Feels good. It's weird. Like I said, I just came off that juice fast and I uh, I ate food for the first time like eight hours ago. It was a really uh, surreal experience. Like I ate an apple and an apple has never tasted so good in my life. That tasted, that apple was super succulent. Mmm, baby, that was good. And then I had like some rice porridge and usually rice porridge is like kind of delicious. I kind of like it, but my God, it was just the best rice porridge I'd ever eaten in my life. The song's intense. Whoa. Okay, we're going, we're going. We're going. Are we going to do it? Wow, this is going to be an early victory. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's do it. Let's focus. Oh, I thought I died there. What? No. <laughs> I knew I was going to die that last part. I waited too long. <laughs> no, it's always the really good attempt I have at the beginning. And then it takes me forever to get back there. <laughs> ah, I overcompensated. It's so oh God, you idiots. <sighs> because you got to wait a little bit, but you, I mean, obviously not that long. That was stupid of me, Eric. You're dumb. Somebody slap me right in the butt cheek and just like make it ripple. Just make my butt cheek ripple so hard. Leave a handprint. Do what you gotta do. Punish me. Punish me.
Yay! We did it! That took me a lot longer than expected, actually. <laughs> that, uh... Well, okay, to be fair, it's the morning time. I'm a little tired. I just came off my juice fast. I'm still a little fatigued. Excuses, Eric. <laughs> I'm full of bullshit. Maybe I just suck. That took me a lot longer, but hey, we got the one and only coin. We can call this level complete in its entirety, right? Omega by Darwin. That's a lot of fun, though. I mean, the whole time I was dying, I was still having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it did take me a while, though. 500 attempts is a lot for this level. Because I, I would consider it like an easy medium. Like, it's like, for me personally, a 4 out of 10 difficulty. Alright, thumbs up. We'll call it a medium. Um, that was a lot of fun. Omega by Darwin. You should check it out if you haven't already. It's new on the featured list. Very awesome level. I think anyone can do it if they put their mind to it. That rhymes. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, I will be practicing more ICDX soon. I just came off my juice fast. It was very hard to focus on anything when I was on it. I'm sorry. More streams this week. More ICDX. More Crash Bandicoot on stream, too. I'll see you guys there. Remember to follow me on Twitch, okay? The link's in every single description I have. As always, guys. Peace.